the charred wreckage of a train after a ferocious inferno. Investigators are left with few clues to piece together and some bodies will require DNA testing to identify them. The driver says he braked soon after the alarm was raised and staff separated the burning carriages. But passengers say the fire raged for 20 minutes before the train came to a stop. Many of the survivors have horrific burns. Others were injured when they jumped from the moving train. A cylinder exploded and somehow the fire erupted everywhere. I jumped out of the train to save my life. There was a whole line of people pushing me from behind. Passengers were reportedly using gas cylinders to cook breakfast on their 25-hour journey to a religious pilgrimage in Rawalpindi. Gas bottles are banned on trains, but travellers often ignore the rules. It was an oversight that they managed to take the cylinders on board which caused the explosion. At small stations there are no scanners, only at larger ones. The Prime Minister has announced an investigation into the disaster and expressed his condolences to victims' families. Uh, we just pray for them. May the Almighty Allah give them strength to bear this loss. Pakistan's rail system has a bad safety record. Trains are often packed with many more passengers than they're designed to carry. But this is the worst rail disaster to hit the country in more than a decade. Jonathan Flynn, ABC News.